have a mulled wine um, in our new mugs. Um, our friend Cheryl and Carl got his matching mugs. M&M. Very nice. I'm not having mulled wine though. No, you're having mulled tea. Welcome to the Christmas episode. M for Merry Christmas. Just putting the bandage on. Just need to make sure it's not too tight. Oh, it's the wrong way around, okay. Definitely not doing this way. It's a lot harder than I thought, and the last time I did it, it was very tight, so I had to like cut it and didn't work out as well as I imagined that will do. <laughs> What's happening with our water pump? We've got an annual water pump problem. Um, this is a new water pump and for some reason it's not pumping the hot water round fast enough to get the boiler lit so we're getting very tepid water but it seems to be okay in the bathroom so it might be this tap but yeah it's always fun on the boat so we just took the end off the tap to see if there was a blockage and there is there is some sediment which i think might be it. it. Roars back into life there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe so, just the Somehow I've got to try and get all this off. Alright, test it now. Oh, I think we solved that one. Oh, that was a one minute, one minute decision. Great. One minute fix, well done. Sorted. That was. That was very quick. We're just going under the bed to get the Christmas decorations and under the bed we keep a couple of boxes of moisture traps. Uh, these packs, these packs um, that are refillable with special moisture tra uh, trapping crystals. We change them every uh, month or so um, and what it does all the water just sinks to the bottom you empty the water and add more crystals and generally we only need to do it for about six months a year There you go. What? Oh, thanks. Have we found everything? Uh, there's another bag down here, but this is just like Tetris. I've got to remember where everything went. When you roll them up well, you have no tangles. This must be the first year that all the Christmas lights are completely tangled together. Is there any room left on the tree? Yeah, there's always room left on the tree. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Which decoration are you glad to see the most this year? Oh, that's unfair. No, that's really unfair. 
got these lovely ones made by Julie Weir, which were nice to see this year. And we want the first to go up. No, they're all nice. We've got great taste. I've got a beautiful tree in my opinion. Now I see Oatly and Santa and putting the mushrooms in. They're all nice. Forgot about the squirrel. I'm just glad they all fit. We've had a really fun day getting all our decorations out, um, getting Christmas outfits out and also we went to visit and probably meet our neighbours, Aisha and Alan, um, on their new wide beam boat. So we had a really nice evening kicking off uh, with some Christmas celebrations, mini Christmas celebrations and gathering, feeling very happy that everything is now up and the boat looks magical but very very tired and the rest is going to be done tomorrow. Come on, let's do this. So I went to a supermarket today to pick up some food, Christmas food, um, as I'm vegetarian I don't eat meat so I try to get my vegetarian or vegan option for Christmas dinner well in advance um, which would normally be beginning of December or even end of November if you can find it. So my favourite one that I can't find this year is tofurkey. I haven't seen it anywhere. So I went to um, a nearby supermarket and got a mushroom wellington, um, which is one of my top choices for roast dinners. It's going to get very cold in the next few days. The weather report says that it's going to go down to minus seven at night. It's definitely the time to put away the paddleboard which has been out all summer but obviously we don't want it out when it freezes because we don't really know what happens to the plastic and rubber thing so So I washed off all of the dirt from the paddleboard, um, including the presents that the ducks left us. Um, and now I'm going to wait about an hour for it to all dry and then put it away. We're having such a busy day. We are going to pick up diesel a little bit of coal and a new gas canister from a nearby marina. Um, I think it's only 20 minute drive away, so not too far. However, we do need to bring the diesel, obviously by hand ourselves to the boat, which is gonna be the first time this year, the first time this winter as well. Which 
25, but it's only 16 in each. I've not filled it up, have I? No, oh, that's why. We can only carry two canisters with us in the car. We only have got two. Um, so Miles didn't fill it up to the top just to avoid spilling. So we are bringing back 32 liters, um, which is just under what we use um, in two weeks. So might have to go again in about 10 days. Wow, it's such a magical morning. First for us of the winter. I love seeing everything white. First for us in the river as well. Not seen it yet. I have a few jobs to do today. Uh, one of them is to get coal and another one is to empty diesel into the diesel tank. Um, luckily, so Miles is away for the weekend. Luckily my friend is coming over so she's gonna help me hopefully with the diesel but I'm gonna wait until all the frost is gone because it's still frosty and slippery. But I have an idea of how to get coal from the coal bag into the coal bucket, that's it. Um, I think I'm going to use a glove and do it by hand for the first half of the bag and the second half of the bag I should be able to lift with one hand. So that's the plan. Today I'm taking you guys to Bath Christmas Markets, somewhere I wanted to go since probably 2018. Miles and I went there for my birthday weekend four or five years ago and we missed the Christmas markets by about a week and since then I really wanted to go but then the Covid thing happened and whatever, we still lived in London at that time. So. This year is the first year when the markets are on and I have an opportunity to go. So I'm taking you guys with me and I'm going with my friend Yoshi.
they're full of independent small businesses and most of them are quite local. I value handcrafted gifts and was very excited to check them out and see what they had in store. The market is spread around the centre of Bath, over a few streets. The cute wooden stalls set against the historic backdrop of this gorgeous town and we had a lot of fun seeing what they had an offer and choosing our presents. Hello, Santa. Hello. Are you broken, Santa? I was, but now I'm really happy. Are you ready for Christmas, Santa? Ho, 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 the world. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to all of those boat folk and wannabe boat folk floating around in your dream capsules. I will be down your chimney at midnight on the 24th of the 12th, 2022. Merry Christmas! Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you're having a wonderful holidays. Come back next Friday for more festive adventures. Huge thank you to our patrons for keeping us going this year and especially to those ones showing up on the screen. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.